Hey, what is up, YouTube? Chris Thrift Shop Hustler here. Gonna go through what sold this week on eBay. Sorry, the videos have been a little scarce lately. Kind of been super, super busy. And just trying to find the time to create the videos has been a little tough. But it's actually a good thing because um, we had some good sales yesterday. So we were able to post those here. So let's get right into it. So first up, we have this wood carving that I picked up in a video that you could look um, the videos below. I forget, I think it was a few videos back where I purchased uh, these two wooden statues. Uh, this one was the larger one of the two. There was a smaller one and this large one. I um, posted them both on Etsy and on eBay. This one sold yesterday for $199, and I was a little sketched out about it because of the feedback. Um, the buyer had two or one one feedback, and they had their account for a while. And usually, when when I get these uh, these low feedback, high purchase things, I do a little research. So, as a little tip, like you could Google their email addresses and their names and stuff, and their addresses to see if both kind of match up. And uh, what I did is I, I looked up this person's email address and I looked up their name and they're they're on the West Coast. So that's a good thing as far as shipping this thing because I'm a little concerned about shipping this thing. And also that I, I matched up their names with an address and they were they, they were in a profession and they're professionals in a profession that I was able to match the two things up. So to me, that was enough verification and also their PayPal um, address was verified and that's a very important tip for any new sellers is whenever you have one of these larger sales and I mean two not 200 for me is a larger sale I don't really make too many high-end sales and um, it's always good when you look at your payment PayPal payment that the address is confirmed because you have buyers or sellers protection if, uh, if that's the case um, also, you kind of want to ensure this kind of thing and you want to do signature confirmation and all that stuff, which you should be doing for higher end things. <clears throat> so, yeah, this was a uh, I think I want to I think I want to say I paid like 75 for both of these figures. So the little one's still up for sale. Um, had these both on eBay. And what this is for people that don't know, this is a 15 inch uh, wooden sculpture. <clears throat> the artist is out of Canada and I actually did a lot of research on this guy. When I got these wooden figures, so it was uh, pretty interesting. He was an older gentleman, not deceased. Uh, this one was made in 2012, and I guess a lot of his pieces that people have have gotten are like from the 70s and stuff like that. So this is a newer piece. This is all one piece of wood, um, except for you know like the little stick and all those little accessories that he have. The whole figure and base is one solid piece of wood, which is amazing. Um, it's an amazing art piece, and I want to at least touch on this a little bit. That for me, the reason why I bought this is I looked at comps, and there was one piece that was live that someone was trying to get three hundred and ninety-nine dollars for. And if we can actually look, we'll dive into this right here real quick. As you can see, there was the original price was on there too of three hundred and fifty dollars, which makes sense because I mean this is a gorgeous piece. I mean we can even look. Uh, at some of the detailing here and I was as an artist myself I was absolutely blown away by this piece and I think 199 is actually a steal for this guy's work I think uh, some of his later work goes for a few hundred dollars five hundred dollars plus so I was actually pretty surprised that this one sold um, so quickly at 199 I, I was gonna put it at 399 like the other one but I decided that I was just going to kind of want to kind of see if I can get rid of it faster, which happened in, you know, my favor. Sometimes you buy these pieces and they sit for literally two or three years before they sell. So I bought this one uh, early on and it was able to sell in less than a month, which is good. So that was this figure. So look out for um, art, art in general, statues. I know I've talked about the, the $5,000 statues before and I still need to make a video on that. <clears throat> and talk about that and we'll do that in another episode 
but that was that so that was a good sell that was yesterday also these migo supermans uh i had these at like i want to say I had these at 59.99 and i have a i do a high low theory when i get something i'll price it high with a buy it now with best offer and then gradually bump it down and these sat for a couple weeks and then someone messaged me and told me that the the superman is actually missing his 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 logo and i guess when they made these they were kind of like cheaply ironed on so that the over time the the patches would just come off and to me, I thought it was an early version until someone <clears throat> was nice enough to show me a really cool Mego page that actually has a lot of the Migos on there. It's like almost like not a price guide, but it's like a it's like a list that shows like all the different Migos and what they should look like and their variations. So I think shout out to that person. Really appreciate that. Bookmark that. So anyways, I, I bumped this down nineteen ninety nine. Uh, one gentleman, I had three of these, and the whole deal was this was a purchase of all. I, I purchased four figures, three Migos, and one Star Wars figure. You guys might have seen that by following my Instagram. And also, by the way, if you want to follow my Instagram, uh, the link is below. Um, I post a lot of my finds and stuff like there. A lot of stuff you're not going to see on eBay. So, anyways, there's I was five dollars into all four of these figures. All three of the Migos sold to one gentleman yesterday. I took a best offer for. $17 on all three of them and for that person it was a good deal I think if the the little joints that are in the kneecaps were busted on most of these and they were like tied together with twist ties and I know that those can be replaced easily but um, I noted that um, you see that even the even the thing that's interesting about these Migos is even Superman's boots do you see his boots they're red boots they come off those alone if i would have just took those off and sold those because those are mint usually those are all chewed on like the dog gets to them kids chew on those and they're in horrible condition both of these superman boots were in like amazing condition so uh those boots could have sold easy for 15 dollars by themselves so the person got a good deal on these 17 dollars for all three and we won't go through both of the supermans they kind of look the same um one of the supermans had a darker skinned face like a gray face almost so i'm not going to show that but i will show you a step through and those are the boots again these boots were like in mint condition the cape was a little tattered on this one but i mean all, all in all these were in amazing shape and here's the spider-man one and the spider-man one i had for 24.95 but i took a best offer i think i actually got 22 for this one because <clears throat> this one was in super great shape too and uh there's a variation as you can see his neck his torso is is flesh color if you can find the the spider-man that his torso is red because it because i think like later they figured out if we just did the whole torso red underneath the shirt it would match because you can see like this the flesh let's see if you can see another photo of this you can see the flesh color of his skin underneath doesn't really match that well so they made the later versions i want to say have the red skin and they didn't really make too many of those so those are actually worth if i would have had that that would be um between like 80 and 100 dollars in this condition so that's what's cool about these migos and for those that don't know the migos are kind of like these barbie almost barbie sized action figures that were from the 70s and uh, they're a little smaller they're about eight inches tall but you can put their clothes on them and everything and these are super collectible now because it's hard to find these things in complete and mint condition because they were um, from the 70s all no one was thinking about saving these things so these things were opened and played with so you're gonna find definitely crazy conditions on these but also look for these when you're in the in the in the garage sales and flea markets and things you might be able to find a bundle of these things if you can get them for like a couple dollars each uh, definitely worth it even if you can get these for five to ten dollars each it's still worth it um, depending on the condition some of them go for um, hundreds of dollars just on ebay search migo and then do like the highest uh, price and then you can see um, the different prices on these things so definitely look out for migo figures next up we have these vinylmation urban monster nine inch with figure these things were limited edition to 1500 and when i was 
cleaning out some of the boxes because I have a bunch of stock that I go through every once in a while that I've had put away for years. And I, and I stumbled across like literally a case of these things where there was like 12 of them I want to say I had. And I purchased these when Finalmation kind of, uh, they were doing a lot of closeouts and I think I got this for like $10 with free shipping. So I bought literally all of them that they had. And held on these for years because I did customs. I would take this red little figure out and I would paint them and then sell it as like a piece of art. And a lot of these I never even got to. So a lot, I was very surprised that um, I, f I found these. And anyways, they sold for $24.95 with free shipping. Shipping was kind of between like $7 and $12 depending on the location in the United States because these were kind of bulkier and heavier. And so um, I just kind of wanted to get rid of these things. Uh, the boxes, most of the boxes were in pretty good condition. Some of them were banged up. So in the description, I actually put like damaged box so that, you know, the people that would get these wouldn't be too concerned with that because some of the collectors that collect these vinyl things, they want everything in like perfect condition. So I made sure that I specified that in there. And also all these sold in a pretty, uh, pretty good amount of time. I want to say over the course of three weeks. Um, all of them listed that were sold and I actually found um, a couple more of them put away so I put those up and those have yet to sell so that is that look for vinylmation I think I'm actually probably going to do a vinylmation get to know your stuff video today on vinylmation it's uh you can still find these um, I always I find these at garage sales all the time here and it might be just a southern California thing and a Florida thing because Disney or Disneyland's are so close but I still find these in garage sales, so we'll do we'll do a video on that today, and hopefully it will be released today. So take a look out for that automation. There's still some good money in that. Um, next up, we have this um, Amigo Amigo Amiibo custom action figure that I painted. We go back to a lot a lot of I actually sold a lot of art this week, which was very surprising, and it kind of makes me want to get back into selling selling more art because a lot of uh customs sold this week so i'm definitely going to be looking back into that i kind of took a break from that to do other things and so um I'll, so these anyways these sold there was three there's three different versions there's a red one a blue one and a green one and uh all three sold to one gentleman who's been collecting a lot of my stuff lately he's been buying up literally everything that he's been finding um as far as amiibo figures that i've done over the years um, there's actually a few people that um, will buy up literally everything that I put up um, as far as am Amiibos. And they've been purchasing a lot of stuff from other people on eBay. Just Google or not, just look up Evilos on on eBay and you'll see the uh, like some of my art that other people are selling. Because over the years, I've been doing this for many years and uh, like a dozen years. And there's so much stuff that I put out that a lot of that stuff ends up on eBay, which is cool. And so, um, yeah, so anyways, I sold three of these, $44.99. Uh, the figures cost between $10 and $12, and they're not too terribly hard to make because I've been doing this for so long. And uh, I wish I had another photo of this because the quality is pretty cool. Um, this is all airbrushed and stuff like that. So like I said, I've, I've hammered this home a lot of times with you guys. If you guys have any kind of talent and, you can, and you're artistic in any way, whether it be crafts, um, even jewelry. I mean, even for me, like later in life, I want to, I want to start like making jewelry and stuff like that because I actually find, um, a lot of that stuff very fascinating. And I know that I can probably make stuff like that. And so, um, if you have any kind of talent like that, and of course, if you make jewelry, Etsy is probably the best place for that because there's, there's less competition. Um, and there's more people looking at Etsy for that kind of stuff. So, like I said, I've hammered this home a million times. If you have any kind of artistic ability, make stuff, put it on eBay, put it on Etsy, even Amazon. Even I've done private label art uh, for my Amazon stuff, and I'm actually thinking about making a video. I've, I know I've said this a few times about um, if you're an artist, how you can do that, and it's very easy, and I'll show you guys definitely how to do that. So next up we have this, what is this thing? This was kind of like a postcard that had a, a code on it for a game. It was an unlock something, an ultra rare thingy or Bob. And so I wanted to show this because I bought 
at Goodwill, they had a loot crate box that was just f filled with like loot crate stuff. It looks like almost, it almost looked like someone took all the good stuff out and then put all the rest of the junk in. But to me, I saw a lot of stuff in there that was that I can sell for like between five and ten dollars. And uh, there was two things in there that I sold for twenty dollars. So seven dollars for this whole box of things was a good deal. And normally I wouldn't even post stuff like this on eBay, but I saw that this was selling at the time when I listed these. They were selling for fourteen, uh, fourteen ninety nine or something like that. So I put that at fourteen ninety nine. They didn't sell. And like I did, I, I did my high low theory, which is price high. If it doesn't sell, well, price high would buy it now with best offer and then gradually drop it. And I'm telling you, it's probably one of the greatest theories or things that you can do for something that you don't know the price on. Because I can't tell you how many times I've priced something super high and it's sold for super high. So don't, 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 don't cut yourself short on stuff that you don't know about. But anyways, I did the high-low theory on this, brought it down. Took a best offer for $6, just wanted to get rid of it, so I made a couple dollars on this after shipping. Not a big deal, but I wanted to show you guys that there's money in all kinds of different... Like, normally I wouldn't even show... Like, I don't even show you guys half the things I saw because they're so... They're not really anything that you can really um, kind of get some knowledge about, but I wanted to show you... I don't normally post something like this, but I want to show you guys that there's money in these kind of weird, odd little, like, game codes and things like that, so... Like, if you had a hundred of these things, you'd be set. So, this thing. This was a Lego Tech Technic Star Destroyer, or Star Wars Destroyer Droid. This thing is actually cool. I got this at a off-brand, or an off-site um, thrift store. It's a really weird thrift store that's in uh, the city next, o next over to me. It's, like, really... Uh, disheveled it's not organized like goodwill or anything like that it's actually kind of a weird one but i've found some good things in there every once in a while and i should actually go in there a lot more because i've have found some good stuff in there um they were selling i want to say they had this they had this thing in a bag right and it was like eight dollars and i saw it and i knew exactly what it was so that was the thing if if your average person that wouldn't have known about legos or star wars would have seen this bag and looked at this thing and thought like there was like there's no I, there's no way that this is worth anything it just looks like a bag of legos but this thing was actually complete um together the only thing that was missing is over time the little rubber bands see if i can show you guys there was like these little rubber bands that would hold as you can see i put the rubber bands some new rubber bands on there they're not the the original ones and i actually bought some Lego rubber bands to put this thing back together so it doesn't show it in this. So the, like the person that bought this is actually going to get surprised with fresh Lego rubber bands to put this thing together. And I originally, this thing sells, if you have one of these brand new in the box, it sells for about $150, $120. Uh, this one was loose, complete. Um, I was surprised that it was actually complete. And I try to get like 60, I try to get $70 for it. Try to get $60 for it. I had this thing for at least half a year I kept dropping the price dropping the price finally someone I took a best offer for I want to say like $28 for it or $25 or something like that and uh, it had, I had shipping on this thank goodness because it was kind of a larger piece I'm trying to do that with larger pieces is actually to charge shipping to offset the 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 costs and everything for stuff that are that is larger it's actually a good uh, a good uh, not technique, but at least a good thing to do when you have larger items as a charge for shipping. And uh, so, yeah, this finally sold. I had this forever. I actually thought about keeping it, but it was just like one of those things where I just wanted to get rid of. So Star Wars, Lego stuff, definitely look out for that. You can find a lot of that stuff at garage sales. I, I find um, the most Legos that I usually find are at garage sales. And usually garage sales, you're going to get a good deal. So keep a lookout for that. So that's all the eBay stuff, and I'm going to do a little bit of a bonus for you guys. I don't really show my Amazon stuff or my Etsy stuff, but um, I've decided, like, there wasn't any, there wasn't a lot of eBay sales this week, but there were good sales, so that was a good thing. Um, so I got these hats from a Goodwill. Um, they were kind of like these streetwear hats from New York, uh, the, the brands SSUR. It's kind of like Supreme a little bit. I wish they were Supreme. These would be $100 hats. 
but they were kind of in that same vein and they were three dollars each so i bought them all and i've had these for for over a year um i sell one of these maybe every four or five months so they, they're selling but anyways i put these on um, amazon i think i have them on etsy and on ebay but they sell better on amazon for some reason and just wanted to show you guys that look out for brand new hats these hat came with the tags and everything I found some really good hats at Goodwill and hats are good money if you get the get the right ones like a lot of vintage snapbacks and things like that. Next up we have more art. This was uh, something I sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Uh, more art. I took these Tendo figures and created my own labels for them and that's what makes them custom for Undertale. And uh, there's not really much to say about this. It's just another kind of side hustle, more art stuff. Like I said, I sold I sold a lot of art this week. Next up is I want to show you this real quick. It's a Disney Infinity um, disc that comes with. It came in a pack, and I found a a great deal at Goodwill last year that had like forty something figures and like literally bags and bags and bags of these discs, and once once I broke it down, I want to say I was like three cents into every item. So this didn't really sell for that much. I think I I think I got like six dollars for it, um, and then you know shipping and all that. So I made a couple dollars on it. But a three dollar or three cent investment, you know, you're still making money if you do these on volume. But I wanted to show you guys this Disney Infinity discs. Um, they're out there. Some of them are worth more than ten dollars. So uh, just do your research on those. You might even have some of these around the house. Um, there's the for a quick tip the there's lenticular ones in lenticular is anyone that doesn't know it's like a 3d thing that scratches that when you when you twist it like back and forth it, it changes these ones don't change they're kind of have a 3d thing but those are the ultra rares from the first series so that you can tell really quick um, and also as you can see the disc is clear clear plastic around the ring the the ultra rare ones are going to have a orange um plastic or red plastics so also look out for those those are the higher end ones and some of those go for good money and i wanted to show you guys that real quick also as another bonus i thought i'd show you guys some of the etsy stuff that i saw i saw a lot of my art on etsy and i sold this gary vannerchuk air put figure to a gentleman this guy bought two of them which was cool um, a lot of these things are made to order so i get the order in and i allow like i think uh see this one's uh, one to two weeks for delivery and uh, that's another cool little side hustle that i do is i do um, customs on demand so if someone orders a custom i have the figure i'll go and make it produce the whole thing blah 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 there's a lot of money in art if you know what you're doing of course and so i uh, just wanted to show you guys that and uh, these have been really popular figures lately. As a matter of fact, um, Gary Vaynerchuk actually has this hanging in his office. If you watch his videos, it's right behind his head on the left side. And it's really cool, and, and I'm really uh, honored that he would do that. And uh, there's going to be more figures of these um, down the road. Next up is this Amiibo. Some more Amiibo. This is Etsy do really well on Etsy as you can see this one sold for $79.99 it is a Galaxy Mario and what I do is I make it look like the Galaxy Mario uh, soundtrack and it's like a cosmic looking thing as you can see it's got the little stars and it's got the this thing actually looks amazing in person photos don't do this thing any justice because of the way the gloss is and I put a like a metallic flake inside of it that when you look at it in the sun and you kind of twist it around this is actually this photo was actually taken kind of like in the shade so you really can't see um, the sparkle effects that it almost looks like a cosmic uh, design and everything so wanted to show you guys some bonus stuff uh, definitely like I said I can't I can't say this enough if you if you if you know if you make crafts if you into making just anything I mean, even like birthday card invitations um, Etsy is good for if you want to sell digital items if you if you are a designer and you can create birthday cards for someone to print out and down or download and print out there's a huge market for that and I haven't even really got into that part of Etsy yet 
either and I know I can definitely go and do that kind of stuff but I just haven't had the time to sit down and do that kind of stuff so so that's kind of it I mean I, it was really like some really good sales this week as far as art like literally it was just almost all about art this week so uh, very cool and uh, I really appreciate everyone watching click the subscribe button if you want to see more of these types of videos We're almost at 400 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe I'd love to hit that goal by the end of the week um, We're trending upwards. The sad part is um, YouTube is doing their uh, There's a there's a YouTube boycott where a lot of companies left YouTube advertising and so I won't get monetization back till I get 10,000 views. They're doing this for every channel. And so if you have an older channel, you're of course going to have, you know, more than 10,000 views. It's really not hard for most people to do, but for me starting out, it was very hard to do. So I really appreciate if you guys watch all the videos. I really appreciate when you share, click the, the bell to get notifications when I make more videos. And I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, I'm not doing this for the money is literally every like monetization on YouTube isn't anything anyways for a smaller channel like mine. I really enjoy doing this. I've been really passionate about uh, reselling. I've been doing this for many, many years and finally getting back into just really hustling and doing it. And it's really, it's really awesome that there's a huge community that are into this kind of thing now. Cause when I started doing this back in the, um, when online auctions started in like the early nineties, mid nineties, there was like really no community. People kind of laughed at this kind of stuff. Like, Oh, you, you sell on eBay. That's weird. Uh, what do you, what is that? You know? So it's kind of cool to see that this is exploded over the years. So once again, click the like button. I really appreciate, um, everyone watching and if you have any kind of questions or you want to know anything about anything leave a comment below and uh, I'll answer that lickety split so once again thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later